In this video, I'm going to use an elliptical compass. An elliptical compass is a compass that has the ability to have two different radiuses. So this is your typical compass. This has one radius. If I hold it at one inch, I am going to draw a circle that has a one inch radius or a two inch diameter. So what I do is I make a mark put the center of the compass in the, on this cross. And I just drew a circle, I'm gonna hold it at one inch, that is two inches in diameter, two inches around, and it's going to have a, this way so you can see it, one inch radius, two inch diameter. This is also a compass, this is what's called a beam compass. This is just like this one, except it allows you to be bigger sizes. I can go all the way out really, really far with this one. The way this one works, same thing, you put it right back in the same hole, and you can draw a bigger circle. Continue out onto this plywood, back around. So this is the same as this. It still has one pivot point. For an elliptical compass, I'll get these out of my way. It is a an ellipse is basically a circle with two radiuses. This is the jig for drawing it. This is the actual compass. The way this is done is these blocks work together and slide together to for the for the compass to work on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle. It has a 20 inch radius this way, it'll be 40 inches total, and it's going to be out 6 inches. So it'll have a 6 inch radius here, 12 inch diameter, 20 inches this way, 40 inches total. This jig is made to where I can draw a smaller one on this side, bigger one on this side, but uh, let me show you how it's done. First thing we do is make the mark, so I want to make 20 inches. So I'm going to hold this at 3 eighths of an inch, that would be the center point. I'm going to come out to 20 inches. Same thing here, I'm going to hold it at 3 eighths. And I'm going to make a mark at 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this template on a piece of scrap. This is going to be my template. The template is dead center with this groove. So when this comes back around, and then this center point is going to be right here. Looks like I need to move that over a little bit. Three eighths of an inch. There we go. So to set this, put one compass into that block, one compass into that block, I'm gonna loosen both of these up. Put this in the dead center. And I'll loosen this up so the pencil can drop. When I tighten this one up, it cannot move anymore. It's locked in that one. I'm gonna raise it up so it doesn't move. I'm gonna take it back out to this 20 inch one, get this in the center. And that is right there. I'm going to lock that one in. So now I'm going to draw this ellipse with two radiuses. It's going to have a nice tight radius here. This is going to be a six inch radius, six in, or 12 inch diameter circle on the end. And it's going to go back out to a 40 inch um, diameter this way. So the way this works, I'm going to draw it a couple times. And you can see it drawing right over the top. This isn't like the string method. This will make the same exact thing every single time. When I push, when I push this one over, that one drops down. So now for this template, I'm going to cut this off here, cut this out, and I have my take this off. Put a screw in this track here, 
and I put a screw in this track here. So I can slide my compass jig off. Cut this right here. This right here is my template and I can fold it over. I can make the, uh, the full ellipse, which you can see I kind of have drawn here. If I want it this way, I can fold it back. I can draw two halves to, uh, to make the hole. I can draw the entire ellipse off this one piece here. It's going from this tangent to this tangent. Just fold it at the tangent, fold it at the tangent. I can draw the perfect ellipse all the way out if I wanted to when I cut that out. So that is all there is to it.